We are here at Holman Stadium in Nashua, New Hampshire. It used to be the home of the Nashua Dodgers and is now home to the present uh, team called the Nashua Silver Knights. Silver Knights are a collegiate league. Four league team, uh, four team league, which just uh, started this year uh, in 2011, and um, used to be also the home of the Nashua Pride for about 10 years, an independent league team that uh, vacated a few years ago and now are located in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Pittsfield Colonials as the name of the team. Anyway, what makes this uh, little spot quite historic is that this was in 1946, three men broke the baseball racial barrier, I could say the modern day barrier, by becoming the first African Americans to play in organized baseball in the 20th century. While Jackie Robinson played with the Montreal Royals, two other young men, a catcher from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Roy Campanella, and a pitcher from Elizabeth, New Jersey, Don Newcomb, were to be the first blacks to play for a U.S. based team in over 60 years by playing with the Nashua Dodgers. In 1946, Campanella would become the New England League's most valuable player. And the New England League, by the way, it was, it was called Class D baseball, probably something like a double A today, um, although these men were ready for the majors in short order. Anyway, while well, 19-year-old Newcomb would win 14 games during 1947, Newcomb led the league with 19 wins. In 1948, another black, Dan Bankhead would follow to become the third African-American to play for the Nashua Dodgers. After leaving Nashua, Ken Campanella would win three National League MVP titles and be elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1969. Newcomb, as of this date, remains as the only player in history to win the Rookie of the Year, Cy Young, and MVP awards in 1955. Both men played key roles in leading Brooklyn to their first World Championship, guided by their former Nashua manager, Walter Alston. A very proud Nashua is honored to dedicate this plaque to the memory of these two historic players who, on the grounds of this stadium, would profoundly change the face of Major League Baseball forever. And this was put here in 1997. I had a friend, a late friend, Al Tomeyer, who uh, played on this Nashua Do Dodgers team. I should say, yeah, Nashua um, Dodgers. And there was a, an excellent little book called Dem Little Bums about the team and about the two uh, first black players uh, in, in the league. And they were very well received here in Nashua. And, uh, oh, about... Five or six years ago, they uh, had a, a night to honor. The Nashua Pride was still in town. They had a night to honor the uh, several surviving members of the Nashua Dodgers. My friend Al Tomai passed away a few years ago at the age of uh, 90. And uh, they had Al was here. And I think there was another player at some of the, uh, the widows of some of the players. It was quite a time. And uh, it's, uh, I'm wishing that the Nashua people, the people in the area, would support this new team here, the Silver Knights. It's uh, great fun. When the Nashua Pride was in town here, it was, um, it was a good, great place to watch some pretty decent baseball, good family fun. And it's, it's, the park actually is owned by the, the town or the, the city of uh, Nashua. So uh, check them out, Nashua Silver Knights. Uh, they're on the website, and um, they're league uh, four team league, and hopefully it will grow. And they tell me here at the uh, box office, or I should say the uh, their office, uh, it's October in a rainy day. They won't be playing any baseball here until June of 2012. But uh, they said they had a good year. They had a lot of attendance, and they won the championship.